Hi, my name is Tammuz Dubnov. I'm actually here in, in Israel, in Tel Aviv. I myself am a, a dancer and choreographer. Soon you'll see me perform a dance piece. I'm 25, and the piece I'm going to show you is about Francesca Mann, who perished when she was 26. We're both dancers, and she was just a year older than me um, when she was killed in Auschwitz. Or killed is not the correct word. She was murdered in Auschwitz. The amazing thing about her is she was one of the, the most prominent dancers at the time with an amazing career to look forward to. And she was actually told that she was going to Switzerland and going to be rescued in this exchange of prisoners of war, which unfortunately was aligned, and she was taken to Auschwitz. Um, when she got there and she realized it was her last days, well, in fact, her last moments, she didn't just go down, she, she went down fighting. She used her experience and her vocabulary kind of as a dancer and as a mover. Um, some renditions have her story as she seduced a, a guard and grabbed his gun and shot him and another. Some say she grabbed her heel and with her shoe she attacked him and then grabbed the gun. Um, but regardless, it's known that she was kind of the ballerina that, that shot and slayed Nazis. Um, and in her final moments, her revolt encouraged and really inspired the rest of the women with her. Um, we'll talk about it a little more, but let's take a look at this piece. So as, as we sort of saw, the, the beauty in her stories can the strength. Uh, and as I went through this experience and this process of choreographing the piece around what I interpret as, as her experience, um, I really tried to kind of capture the feelings. Perhaps you heard the breathing in that piece. You have to kind of imagine and put yourself in those shoes of not just the, the six million people, but that individual in that moment in time and realized that she came in as a trained performer, um, but went into a machine where she knew she, was, she wasn't gonna make it. This was her last few days, or in fact, her last few moments. Um, and it, the true beauty and, and source of inspiration is in that moment in time where many of us would feel hopeless um, sitting in a machine that was really designed to strip us of our strength, take us away from anything that kind of grounded us or gave us strength, whether it be family, where we came from, each other, um, and even asked us to strip down to to our bare bodies, she was still able to to find a source of strength and was so creative and such a, an amazing performer that in that moment she was able to use her skills to her advantage to even fight um, and make an impact in the end. And that's sort of the, I think, the message we should all go, go with and, and take away from this. It's not, yes, there were six million people that perished, but that's such a big number, it doesn't mean anything to us. And if we think about our life where they say in your life, you perhaps interact with 80,000 people. We're talking in two orders of magnitudes above that in terms of the number that perished. 
So the only way for us to really understand it as humans is to go not from the six million, but down to that one, and try to understand their experience, try and realize that this is as if every person you've ever met in your life was murdered. And think back to that moment when you were last with that person. Realize all the experiences they had, the moments you shared, um, the friends, the family, all the things they left behind and the impact that they now weren't able to make. And that's really the, the strength and the strength we can get from her story. She's one of the, the millions that perished, but from her, we can kind of take her story and use it as a sort of source of strength and know that in any moment we're able to, to really find that strength from within and make a difference and keep fighting. Um, that's really kind of well, what I walked away with. Hopefully her story will stay with you as well.